The lob is one of the few shots in paddle that people don't realize, but it's actually really different from tennis. Yeah, technically and tactically, it's a really different shot. And today we're gonna to talk about the differences. So first let's look at what we do with the lob in tennis. So in tennis, the lob is traditionally like a defensive shot. So you're trying to get the ball over your opponent's head and away from them and ultimately to win the point. And that's the idea, right? You're on the stretch, you're trying to get back in the point, you're trying to force that ball out of the court so that they have to really hustle back and to get it. In paddle, the lob is predominantly used as an attacking shot and often when you've got an easier ball. Yeah, it's, it's a shift of mindset coming to paddle because instead of hitting a lob and trying to get the ball moving away and winning the point like you would in tennis, it's really a shot that will get you to the net with your partner. Yeah, it's not a winner, is it? And, and this mindset needs to change. Tennis players, they come to the paddle court and they're always using a, a, a lob for the defense instead of thinking, I'm gonna force an easy ball and then use my lob to take the net. Now let's look at the technical differences. So in tennis, we talked about the objective of hitting over our opponent's head and hitting a winner, getting it to bounce away. So we wanna try and hit topspin on that lob. Yeah, technically in tennis, you're really trying to brush up the back of the ball using your legs and the path of the racket is going more that way, trying to get the spin. Yeah, and that brush is really important because if you, if you hit flat on the ball, it's not gonna kick away. So if we look at the technique now for paddle, it's less about kicking that ball away because we don't want that to happen because it will bounce off the glass and then we'll get attacked back. We really want to come underneath that ball. Yeah, so we're not looking at spin anymore, but we're actually coming under the ball at a flatter contact and the racket path is vertical through the shot. We're really looking at that high trajectory and it's more about getting the accuracy of the distance rather than trying to get lots of spin and brush up that ball. Another big tip for coming to paddle from tennis when we're talking about this is almost forgetting the idea of hitting passing shots. In tennis, you're always trying to hit fast through the gaps, but if you think of the court, you and your partner, you're covering 10 meters by 10 meters, well, width ways, you're against two people. But if you go length ways, you've got one person covering that whole 10 meters. So it's much more effective for you to use the lob than trying to hit passing shots. Yeah, we talked about it earlier. It's that mindset shift, isn't it, between tennis where there's probably only you'd only hit one lob maybe a few times in a set whereas in paddle you all you have to do is look at the world paddle tour to see how many lobs they're hitting every point each point is several lobs and and, and more and we'll use an example now to show you So your objective for the next time you play is to say to yourself, only try and hit lobs on easy balls. Yeah, try not to hit any defensive lobs if you can for a whole set and just see how that dynamic changes in your game. Yeah, and combining the lob and the chiquita is a really good combination, which we have on our course right here.